Hello everybody, my name is Bruce Barker and it's my good fortune to be president of Chippewa Valley Technical College. I'd like to start the program tonight by welcoming you on behalf of our Board of Trustees, our faculty and staff, and most importantly our 18,000 students scattered throughout West Central Wisconsin. So welcome to the 2021 Chippewa Valley Technical College Spring Commencement Ceremony. say what an honor it is to be here speaking to my fellow graduates of Chippewa Valley Technical College. I want to thank the college for this opportunity and thank my instructors in the radiography program who have shown nothing less than endless support and enthusiasm for my growth and success as an individual. Our class of 2021 has endured much more than we were expecting when we set out in our academic journey. It just goes to show that we are capable of much more than our minds can imagine. Being here today, graduating, is a huge accomplishment, but it's not the end of our journey. We must continue to persevere, be open-minded to change, and actively create a present that will lead to the growth of our future. Before my journey at CBTC, I was at a four-year university, and while my heart and mind were dedicated to my education, I found I was lacking an interpersonal aspect. I could not clearly visualize fulfilling my passions of working directly with people for which I would make an impact. It was my dad that shared with me his story and experience in the medical field. He knew my passions for science and people and told me instead of pursuing a degree in research, I could fulfill my passions in a more practical way. My father has had the opportunity to work with students from CBTC and through that experience shared with me about the radiography program. From there, I applied, was accepted, and stand before you today as one of its graduates. I wanna offer some wisdom I learned over the years. Be flexible yet firmly rooted. Having strength means bending without breaking. We must be careful not to underestimate others or ourselves based only on old notions of what is weak and what is strong. Stand tall and believe in your strengths. My father always said, be humble. A humble person doesn't easily get frustrated with the imperfections of self or others. Attaining goals is not made through perfection, but rather the experiences and lessons learned through making mistakes. With commitment to continuous learning and improvement, our growth can be quite remarkable, and with sustained effort, we're always growing. It has been said that in order to learn, we must empty ourselves of preconceived notions. We have to be open to that which is new and different. When we empty our minds of prejudice, pride, and fear, we become open to all possibilities. We cannot passively wait around and hope that our future will magically blossom into every dream we ever had. It requires laborious, conscientious, and empathetic individuals from a multitude of different backgrounds to join together and work toward a future we can be proud of creating. Congratulations, CVTC graduates. Hello, CVTC graduates, friends, families, and instructors. My name is Rebecca Merrifield, and I'm beyond honored to be speaking to the class of 2021. Today, I won't be spending my time talking about the pandemic, as today is way more than a toilet paper shortage or the dry hands we all have from hand sanitizer. Today is about the sacrifices you've made to be here, the friends and connections that you have made, and the experiences through your time at CVTC that have shaped who you are. During your celebrations today, you might hear the words succeed or success. All of you have succeeded in graduating, but where your success comes from are the situations or circumstances you have persevered through that got you here today. Things such as making it to most of your 8 a.m. classes, taking care of a newborn while working on assignments, attending interviews when you're struggling with anxiety, working on a project through a mental breakdown at two in the morning, or taking care of an ill family member while studying for exams. These hurdles that your friends, family, or instructors never saw is where your success truly comes from. The silent obstacles you overcame in your journey to graduation is what we are celebrating today. Overcoming the silent obstacles along the way is where you truly learn the most in not only your journey through CVTC, but the rest of your life. You learn to continue forward while embracing rejection. 
You learn to invest in yourself. You learn that no job is too small and that every experience has a lesson and every person you meet has a purpose in your life. You also learn that everyone around you is battling silent obstacles. So be kind as you never know what someone is going through or how difficult of a journey life has been for them. Today we celebrate you succeeding to get to graduation day. But even more than that, we celebrate your success of getting through all of your silent battles in order to graduate. Each and every one of you should be proud of the journey you have taken to get here and the hurdles you have overcome along the way. So from your friends, families, faculty and community members, congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. We are proud of the people you are and the successful individuals you will become. Graduates, on behalf of CBTC faculty and staff, congratulations on your great accomplishment. You're gonna be early in your career and I wanna tell you a story of two other individuals early in their career. That is Apple CEO Steve Jobs and Pepsi CEO John Scully. We know that Apple was founded in 1976. In 1982, Apple was looking for a new CEO. Steve Jobs, only being 26 at the time, did not have the confidence of the Apple board. And Steve didn't always act his age at 26. But Steve being the majority shareholder, the Apple board did give Steve Jobs the go-ahead to hire the next CEO. After striking out with over 20 individuals, Steve Jobs found what he liked in Pepsi CEO, John Scully. So Steve Jobs worked for five months to get Scully to come to Apple. Well, they met in March of 1983. And that's when Scully told Jobs, I've been thinking about this a lot. I'm not coming to Apple. I'm gonna stay on the East Coast doing what I've been doing. I'll be an advisor for free. Let's just be friends, but I'm not coming to Apple. That is when Steve Jobs looked at John Scully and said, listen, do you want to sell sugar water for the rest of your life, or do you want to come with me and change the world? A week later, John Scully was working for Apple. Graduates, I hope you have the mindset of Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs always told people that he is going to change the world. Or, if not that, I hope you have the talent of John Scully and that somebody has enough confidence in you to recruit you to help them change the world. Graduates, again, congratulations and good luck. Hello class of 2021, Governor Tony Evers here. Today I want to wish you my sincerest congratulations on your graduation. Of course, any graduation is a critically important achievement and occasion and I know I join your friends and family members in telling you I'm incredibly proud of the work you did to get here today. But this graduation, like so many this past year, is especially important for us to honor and celebrate. Not only are you graduating, but you're becoming a graduate after having per persevered and worked hard in the face of unprecedented challenges and circumstances this past year. And you made it. But boy, it wasn't easy. This past year challenged you in more ways than one. Whether it was learning online for the first time, balancing working full-time or part-time in addition to your studies, or taking care of family and kids, you juggled all of it as a deadly pandemic happened all around you. And through it all, you stayed committed, resilient, and you got through it. Your hard work paid off, and now as we work to put this pandemic behind us, you're also turning the page to the next chapter. And we need you now more than ever. This pandemic has underscored how critically important our technical college graduates are to our economy and our state from our healthcare workers and emergency responders to our firefighters and law enforcement, to transportation, distribution and logistics personnel, to our manufacturing and construction workers. This work is important. So whatever you're going to do next, 
enter the workforce, continuing pursuing education and training or whatever path you choose, I know you'll be able to take everything you learn from our technical colleges into the next stage of your life and I'll be rooting for you every step of the way. So on behalf of the state of Wisconsin, congratulations class of 2021. I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors and look forward to seeing all the great work each of you will do. Congratulations again and on Wisconsin. Well, graduates, congratulations. You made it. This is the day you've been waiting for. Well, I know you've been doing a lot more than just waiting. You've been studying hard, you've been mastering skills, you've been taking tests. You've had to deal with a fair amount of stress and anxiety, maybe a few sleepless nights. But now those hard times are all behind you. And in a few moments, you will be a graduate of CVTC. Unfortunately, we're not able to celebrate your achievement like we have in past years. In other years, we'd be at the Zorn Arena, there'd be crowds up to the ceiling, there'd be a stage, spotlight. I would get to shake your hand, the photographer would be there. But with the COVID restrictions, we're simply not able to do that. But those COVID restrictions shouldn't detract or lessen from your accomplishment and what you've achieved at CVTC. You should all be very, very proud of what you've accomplished. I know you've worked hard. It's been even more difficult because of COVID, but you set a goal, you strived hard, and you've completed that goal. You now have the knowledge, the skills, and the confidence, and I know you're on the road to success. Now, I do know some of you, but not all of you. And you may ask, how do you know I'll be successful if we've never met? Well, I can give you three good reasons. The first reason is CVTC. The college is specifically designed to meet the training and employment needs of our area employers. We teach what you need to learn. So I know that you'll be ready for the demands of our working force. The second reason is our faculty. We have a great group of dedicated, wonderful public servants. They're dual professionals. All of them were successful in their careers and they were so passionate about their occupation that they came back to CVTC to share that knowledge with others, with you. They still are related and have associations back in their old careers. And they're not going to disappoint those people. They're not gonna let you go out there until you're ready. So I know when the faculty say you're ready, you're ready. And the third reason I know you'll be a success is you yourself. You're not the same person that you were when you enrolled at CVTC. You've learned a lot, you've gained knowledge, you've polished your skills, and you've gained confidence. I like to say you're the new and improved you. So you took the time, you invested in yourself, and now I know you're ready to succeed. So graduates, congratulations for what you have accomplished, and now it's time to show the world what you can do. Thank you. Will the graduates please rise? These graduates have completed their requirements set forth by the faculty of the Chippewa Valley Technical College, their academic deans, and the Wisconsin Technical College System Board. They are now ready to be granted their diplomas and associate degrees. So by the authority granted to me by the Chippewa Valley Technical College and the state of Wisconsin, and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I confer upon you the diploma or associate degree with all of its rights, privileges, and responsibilities associated with your accomplishment. Congratulations.